This is the standard launch pad. Um, this is version 1.5. If you take a look at it. And the primary difference in 1.5 is there's some minor silk screening uh, changes, but the header pins are already soldered on and it comes with a larger MSP 430G2553 uh, device. So it actually is a 20 pin device versus this is my um, the first launch pad and this is uh, MSP 430 um, G2 version 1.4 and on here comes um, a smaller value line device um, it's 14 pins and um, instead of the male headers I had actually soldered on the female headers because it's a little more convenient for um, breadboarding and wires um, the main difference on this is what wires you use. So with uh, the female connectors, you can just use standard wire or these um, standard jumper cables that you get in a lot of breadboard packs. But um, with the version 1.5 um, and the male headers, you need to have female connectors. And um, they actually make female to male connectors, which I'm still looking for a reasonable pack of them. So, um, anyways, and that's the only, that's the main difference in this particular uh, demonstration. So, um, because the 1.5 is the one shipping today, um, I'm going to show the video on um, Blink LED on this one. So, uh, very simple. Um, we're going to Blink um, LED 2. So, and then we're going to wire up an external LED and blink it the same way. And I'm using Energia for that. So here's my computer. I'm going to launch Energia. If you haven't installed it, I'll include the install directions. Okay. And so the first thing we're going to do is load an example. Um, the blink LED is already in the example pool. Select blink. Okay. Um, plug your launch pad in. In my case, I've already plugged mine in. So, plug my launch pad in, and um, I can hit verify. This shows if there's any errors in the code. Um, since there's no errors shown here, we can proceed to the next one, which is upload. And it compiles it and it puts the code onto the MSP430. Now that's completed, let's take a look at it. Now the LED is blinking. Okay. We're going to need to see the pinout of the MSP430. And I'll include a quick little cheat um, pinout. But um, in this case, what we need to know is um, we're going to change this now because the default pinout 14 is what is blinking the LED. So in this case, I'm going to change this to pin 6. Back to here, and we see that there's um, no, there's no more blinking um, of the LED. That's because it's blinking pin six now. And so, if I pull out my breadboard, this is the circuit that's already I've already wired on here, and I'll include the, I'll include the fritzing um, uh, demonstration on it. So we'll take ground. We'll connect it to ground. And then we'll take um, the VCC portion of this and we'll actually connect it to pin 6. Okay, 
and like I said, I use these female connectors, and um, because I do most of my projects on the um, 1.4, I didn't get the male to female, I just connected together the um, wire into the female connector. Well, we take a look, and we see that um, it's kind of sloppy. See that um, we're now blinking the external LED the same way we were doing before. It's using the energy environment and um, quickly getting up and running with Blink LED.